The Pentagon declassified data on the top-secret X-44 Manta worth $300 million. We're now delving into the mysteries of an American state-of-the-art airplane that's been shrouded in secrecy for years. What's it capable of? Why was the airplane that can turn invisible created? Is there any way to defeat it with its top speed greater than the speed of sound? Why was the choice of weapons so unobvious to it? Whatever the answer, you're about to find out. The X-44 Manta is one of the most mysterious projects of the American military aviation. This revolutionary stealth aircraft developed by Lockheed Martin was originally conceived as an innovative platform without an empennage, which already distinguished it from other models. The Manta gained the ability to accelerate to Mach 1 in a matter of seconds, which marked a new record among fighter jets. 3,000 nautical miles, stay 50 hours with refueling, and give up not only a picture, but can do strikes too for time-sensitive targeting. Unique aerodynamics and stealth technologies provide almost complete invisibility to both radar and human eyes, thanks to the latest coding codenamed Parallax. At first, the project was classified, and it seemed that its development had stopped. Many people, including me, even thought it was fake. However, recent leaks directly from the Pentagon and observations of the X-44 Manta indicate that the aircraft not only exists, but is being actively improved to perform the most complex combat missions. The X-44 Manta project began in the 1990s when the U.S. military was looking for new solutions to create an unrivaled stealth aircraft. At this time, developments in aerodynamics and stealth were becoming a priority for the Pentagon, and the legendary Lockheed Martin was allowed to work on the Manta. The fighter was designed as a completely tailless aircraft, which in itself aroused great interest. This decision made it possible to significantly reduce its radar visibility and improve maneuverability. Moreover, the Manta was capable of reaching supersonic speeds of 1,740 miles per hour, rising to altitudes of up to 68,900 feet to carry out reconnaissance missions. These characteristics made it an ideal machine for the most dangerous missions. But something went wrong. Suddenly, the project was classified and information about it began to disappear from public view. The Pentagon did not comment, which only increased the interest of the public. Many people began to suspect that the aircraft was so powerful and advanced that its existence had to be concealed even from the Allies. One thing was clear. The X-44 Manta is not just an airplane, but a game-changing technology. You won't believe it, but one of the most shocking features of Manta is its ability to become invisible not only to radar, but also to the human eye. Imagine this an airplane that can disappear in an instant, leaving the enemy in complete confusion. This effect is achieved thanks to a unique cover codenamed Parallax that works as a camera and display at the same time. The lower part of the airplane transmits the image seen by the upper part and vice versa, creating the illusion of complete disappearance. But that's not all. The X-44 fighter is equipped with the most advanced weapon systems, including hypersonic missiles that can hit targets with an accuracy of up to 16 feet. These missiles are capable of reaching speeds of 2,850 miles per hour, which is unavailable to conventional air defense systems, making the Manta virtually invulnerable in combat. In addition, the arsenal of the aircraft includes adjusted bombs that can be delivered with minimal deviation from the target, even at high speeds and it has a significant amount of weapons carrying and payload capability. Now imagine that this aircraft can reach speeds of up to 1,740 miles per hour, flying over the battlefield in full stealth mode. Even without weapons, the Manta is like a thunderbolt, deadly to anyone. This aircraft is literally a game changer, and it's rumored that it's even equipped with an electromagnetic gun. Small electromagnetic pulse weapons offer some pretty startling capabilities. You can essentially completely destroy an enemy's electronic infrastructure in a very precise way. Whether this is true or not, I don't know. But one thing's certain, the X-44 Manta will be the weapon that will determine the outcome of future conflicts. Just imagine that you learn about the existence of the X-44 Manta, an aircraft that can literally disappear, destroy, and dominate any fighter. When such information becomes available, it changes the way we think about military technology. We thought stealth was the pinnacle of stealth, but the Mantis shows that this is only the beginning. If such technologies already exist, this raises new questions for us. How to defend against an enemy that cannot be seen? 
how to respond to a threat that can materialize anywhere and at any time. Is there any way to shoot it down? The declassification of the Manta information may force other countries to accelerate their own development in the field of stealth and stealth technologies, leading to a new stage of the arms race. And here the main question arises. Are we ready for such a future? After all, if such technologies can be used for defense, they can also be in the hands of those who intend to attack. The fact that such aircraft exist can radically change the strategy of not only defense, but also offense. After all, the Manta is not just an airplane, it's a signal that the technologies of the future are here, and they're ready to turn the world upside down. Ultimately, the X-44 Manta is a revolutionary stealth aircraft that can change the world. Its unique technologies, such as the parallax coating and hypersonic missiles, make the X-44 a formidable weapon, but also a reliable defender. The declassification of Manta information emphasizes the importance of transparency in military developments, as such technologies can change the balance of power in the world. We need to understand what threats and opportunities these innovations pose to be prepared for future challenges. In the meantime, a new era of aircraft construction is approaching us at supersonic speed. This brand new aircraft, created in cooperation with NASA and Lockheed Martin, will transform our understanding of passenger transportation. Its bizarre shape will become familiar to everyone in the coming years, and its extraordinary technological capabilities are exactly the breakthrough that has been waiting for decades. More than 300 engineers worked to bring this airplane to life, and for good reason. Its speed is one and a half times faster than the speed of sound, and the project cost is $250 million. The Lockheed Martin X-59 is an experimental supersonic aircraft developed under the Low Boom Flight Demonstrator Program. The aim of this project is to create an aircraft capable of flying at supersonic speeds with minimal sound impact, which will reduce the negative impact on the environment and make supersonic flights more commercially attractive. It was the noise level and accidents of the X-59's predecessors that prevented this technology from taking a step forward. However, after years of neglect of supersonic passenger transportation, this aircraft gives hope for the future, fast, environmentally friendly, and cheap to maintain. As a leader in aeronautics research, NASA is working to reduce the sounds produced by aircraft. But let's get to the point. The engine noise of the X-59's predecessor was 110 decibels at takeoff alone, which is the loudest engine in the history of aircraft construction, while the safe volume for humans is only 70. So the developers had to do their best. When a supersonic aircraft flies over a town, a suburb, or a city, it will smash loose windows. Uh Lockheed Martin, famous for its military developments, wants to prove that it can be useful to the civilian population as well. However, the development of the X-59 was not a cakewalk. It took seven years to design it. In 2015, the Lockheed Martin developed a concept for an airplane with a long, thin fuselage and a unique nose fairing. This design was aimed at minimizing the sound impact, or the so-called loud pop that occurs when the sound barrier is overcome. This aircraft must overcome the curse of sonic boom and become commercially successful. X-59 will be able to fly at supersonic speeds, faster than the speed of sound, without producing a loud sonic boom. The latest composite materials, such as carbon fiber and titanium alloys, were used in the project in areas of high load. In addition, the single-piece design ensured the correct distribution of the load across the outer surface of the aircraft. The success of these ideas was encouraged by NASA and Lockheed Martin management. So the X-59 prototype began to be assembled at the Skunk Works plant. The most famous component we can find in this plant is undoubtedly the General Electric F414 GE100 engine, specifically modified for the X-59 project. It delivers 98 kilonewtons of power or 10 tons of thrust, which is slightly less than the turbofan engines used in air transportation and is used on the F-A-18EF Super Hornet fighter jets. This engine cannot yet be called commercial because the engine from a fighter jet that moved the weight of the weapon, pilot, and light airframe must now perform commercially successful missions at 1,100 miles per hour. Therefore, the engineers involved in the modernization of this engine faced a difficult task. We will know whether they succeeded or not very soon. In addition, design innovations alone are not enough to understand how this aircraft will behave in the air. 
To better study the prototype, a simulator was built to train future pilots. However, despite all the innovations and successes in the development, some people expressed doubts about the safety and efficiency of the aircraft. There were questions about whether it would really be able to significantly reduce the level of sound impact and whether there would be any problems during commercial operation. Therefore, the Lockheed Martin actively cooperates with local residents in the test areas, informing them about the goals and methods of testing to minimize negative reactions at the development stage. After NASA completes the flight tests, a flight will be conducted over several selected cities in the United States, collecting information about the sound generated by the X-59 and how people perceive it. NASA will provide this data to the Federal Aviation Administration and international regulators. This may happen this year if the team overcomes certain difficulties. In fact, overcoming engineering problems was the basis for the construction of this aircraft. The most famous supersonic passenger airliner until recently was the Concorde. These aircraft have been in operation since the 1970s, transporting passengers from the United States to Europe across the Atlantic. Many, many pilots all over the world would, would have loved to, to fly the Concorde, but there were only a few of them. All 13 Concorde aircraft, despite the exorbitant cost of the flight, were unprofitable. But the costs were racking up all the time. People complained about the noise from their engines and flight safety was poor. This led to a flight ban in 2003. To circumvent this ban and create a better airliner than the Concorde, the Lockheed engineers had to modify the design of the aircraft. The cockpit does not have a front windshield, so the X-59 pilots will use the External Vision System technology, an external vision system that allows a camera to transmit images ahead of the aircraft to the screen in the cockpit. However, all technical innovations are nothing more than theory until the airplane takes to the skies. Flight tests before the all-important demonstration flight are the most interesting stage of development. Before taking to the skies, the pilot undergoes a series of checks and tests the external vision system once again. After making sure that all systems are fully operational, the airplane smoothly starts moving. The X-59 lifts off the ground so easily and quietly that at first glance it's difficult to tell about its supersonic capabilities. It looks more like a kite than a supersonic monster. The first stage of the flight is to check the main flight characteristics. The X-59 rises to altitude according to the flight plan and performs basic maneuvers. The next step is to test the control systems in the air. The pilot uses cameras and sensors for orientation, and this technology seems to work flawlessly. After these procedures, the most interesting part begins testing the supersonic mode. The tests take place away from residential areas so the pilots can safely overcome the sound barrier. It'll take 15 to 20 minutes to accelerate, just like the Concorde, due to the similar engine power. The sound impact gets quieter and quieter with each test, the process of speed reduction and landing is also clearly planned and regulated. After landing, another control check of all systems is performed in the process of eliminating problems, improving identified shortcomings, and preparing for the next flight begins. There will be many more such test flights before the aircraft is ready for presentation, so this project has a great future. The return of supersonic civil aviation will definitely be the technical event of the decade, as the level of technology and innovation implemented in this aircraft is amazing. Most aviation experts believe that in 2025 we'll have the first flights of this supersonic airliner. Despite this, there are skeptics who don't see ways to implement the X-59 at a sufficient level to lift the ban on supersonic passenger transportation. The price of tickets remains a separate issue. No forecasts have been announced yet, but we should expect a significant price reduction after the production of the aircraft and the total cost of the project. Overall, we can expect this model to take off in coming years, as no implementation milestone has been missed so far, and all technical plans are being implemented surprisingly quickly. Perhaps it was just time, and the NASA and Lockheed Martin engineers felt the wind of change perfectly. What do you think about this technology? Will the idea of supersonic passenger transportation be realized this time? Write your opinion in the comments. That's all for today, but if you're interested in the Lockheed Martin Technology Solutions, you can watch other videos about the equipment of this company on our channel. In addition, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our new videos, and like this video, please. See you soon.